Libra, how are you doing? Welcome to the Astro Flower reading for September. Uh, we're going to be moving into your birthday season at the end of this month. And if it's your birthday, you know, at the end of September, happy birthday to you in advance. Uh, but it will, it may show up in the reading here as we've got week one, week two, week three, week four. Uh, this is the relationship side. This is the uh, money side of life. This is the overall energy and this is the karmic messages that go out to both sides. If you, it's your birthday at the end of the week, uh, end of the month, happy birthday to you. Uh, we'll all celebrate it together. Okay. Um, yeah. So um, let's just see what's going on with the uh, energy here. I have done a general reading for everybody, uh, which will be in a card somewhere above my head at some point. Uh, very interesting. Loads happening in September. Lots of changes happening as far as I can see within the first 10 days. And then within the first, within in the last sort of week, seven days, five days of uh, September. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, you've got in this section here, in the, the end of September, there's it's starting to that call of action to sort of put things into place, start really moving again, uh, making you feel um, a little bit more buoyant um, uh, about things and taking the life by the scruff of the neck, by the looks of things. Uh, in the middle of the section of the week, so they've got two, week two, week three, uh, if um, Sagittarius, did I do the recording? Sorry, I just need to check that I am recording. Yeah, I am. Sorry, I did forget about that. Um, so, um, yeah, the um, in the week two, week three, uh, coming through there. Yeah, it's a lot calmer than most people, which is because we're coming to, up to your birthday. You're still in your autumn period and then moving into winter after your birthday. And this is where you can really start moving the plans on. Um, and it's, I, it's almost like an anticipation with rest and healing, as it were. And then in the first week of uh, first week of September, it's like oh, it's it really shock. It's like you're going to be you're going to feel shocked about the situations that are around you. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if it's a bad thing. I'm not sure if it's a good thing either. But I think it's just like kind of going wow. What do I do with that? Wow, that's uh, amazing. So let's just see what's going on in the overall energies uh, going through this month. Transition, transition, transition. Moving from one state to another. Moving from one paradigm to another. Um, too many cards there to take on at one go. I do apologise. Too many cards to take on in one go. They're lovely cards, though. Uh, I'm going to split them up in the pack. There was the Lovers, the World, and the... Uh, what's that? The uh, Seven of Pentacles. But yeah. Um, yeah, so transition. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's almost like you're wanting for that transition to happen, but you need a respite before it does happen. So <laughs> start wishing. The overall energy is is still you're in that last last month before your birthdays, uh, birthday season starts, and in that last month it's sort of like kind of going what ex what emotions do I want to experience next year? What sort of relationships do I want to experience next year? What sort of spiritual path do I want to experience after my birthday? So that's the sort of thing is is just they're just saying to you, you know the overall energy in September is just kind of going. Put your wishes out there. Let's see what turns up. Put your Christmas list out to Santa. Okay, let's just see um, uh, what's going on in the first week in your relationship side. Letting go, enjoying the moment, enjoying, allowing other people to uh, fill in the blanks for you rather than you having to run around filling in the blanks, basically. Feeling at home going through that portal. Yeah, it's it's going through that transition from one paradigm to another. That is that first week. As I said, something's going to happen within the first 10 days of September, I think, uh, which is going to put everyone a bit of a, you know, that's going to be shocked in a way. And I think that's moving 
you're going to realise that the world's not the same. Uh, so within your relationships, it could be marriage uh, for you. Uh, it could be for a couple, marriage uh, between the two. It could be um, within your um, family or your friends and your community where it's been affected by uh, what's going on in the general reading, where you're moving from one, you know, collectively you're starting to come together. It's creating a new dynamic within your family. It could be a case of, say, like within your family or your friends, that a dispute is settled in a really nice way and they allow that healing process to start. Uh, it's all about sort of like a moment. It's a bit of a shocker for you, uh, but it actually opens up a lot of possibilities for the going future. And it could be a shock that someone proposes marriage to you. Why not? Dream big. Okay, let's see what goes on in the uh, second week. This is, um, so this is the second week of September. So, um, yeah, it's that anticipation. I think within the couple, it's definitely an anticipation of joy and, and unification, really. That's the sort of feeling you're getting from from that first week of, uh, and it, it's, it's that, it's giving you, um, it's giving you something to believe in. Do you know, it's giving you something to, to hold on to. Because uh, you may be feeling a little bit tired because you're really into your autumn period and a little bit sort of like overwhelmed by the outside world. And this is going to give you something to really look forward to. Yeah. I think that summarizes the overwhelmed and feeling a bit tired sort of scenario in the second week. But realizing that you do have that cup and that's what that thing, giving you something to keep, your faith in um uh yeah it's supposed to be about missing opportunities and stuff like that but i think if you if you accept that cup from the universe and just enjoy yourself uh in the week before um yeah it will be a healing moment but it'd be the unification of you and another person um i think and also a unification between you and your family and your friends and community. People are going to see you in a different light, I think, this week uh, and the second week. Let's go into the third week and see what's happening there within your relationship or relationships. Uh, time to move on, time to move up, basically. Uh, here it's sort of saying, it's like, right, that's it, I'm off. Lovers. It's really nice for a couple. Got to be said. Uh, in the start, in the third week, it's going to be, it's leading right up to the door of your um, your birthday season. And uh, you're going to feel like that the, the, the possibilities are there within your relationships. Uh, certainly within your couple. It looks really good for the couple sort of side. But um, if you're already in a couple, it's a case of exploring uh, the different avenues uh, within your couple and uh, knowing when to have a moment of calm and when moment of excitement. But there's, there's definitely a change of dimensions from the beginning of week one. And I think that comes from the general reading. There's this healing process going on at the moment uh, and the second week. And maybe uh, it's just sort of, having an easy week and enjoying it and just filling up one of those cups. And then in the third week, in the third week, you're going to be unifying your love uh, within a couple or within uh, your family and your friends. But I think this is more sort of like feeling at one with yourself. And it's a good way to start a new year from your birthday season. Just feeling at ease and at one within your couple. Okay, let's just have a look what's going on on the um, money side of life in the first week. Uh, planning. So it may not be very busy on the, on the financial sort of side or with your job. You may not get a lot of success or a lot of advancement within all of that at the moment. But that's probably not such a bad thing because it's going to allow you uh, allow you to um, sort of put everything into place ready for after your birthday 
to really attack things. And it could be a case of doing the paperwork already. Um, not necessarily going out there and doing it, but just putting, jotting down on a paper, sort of saying, if I want to do this, these are my needs that goes to my wants. And that's a really good exercise to do. So you, you put down, I want to have this particular like, job. What do I need in order to get there? And that's what this seems to be going on this week. A lot of organization, the starting of a new journey. Uh, yeah, a new victory in the offering. Uh, and I think this is a personal thing for you. And it's a personal goal and determination uh, and grit, basically, of I want this out of life. Uh, and if I'm going to want this out of life, then, um, yeah, I'm going to need to organize beforehand. Uh, and this is going to make you feel like you're on a winning path on the first week. Um, according to how the world is changed within that first week. Let's see what's going on in the second week. Uh, so the preparation is in place and that's that little victory and then the second week is a little bit like this sort of side as well wait and see so wait and see how the dust settles before you know how the fruit falls before you start deciding which fruit you can sell which fruit has to be put in the juice you know excuse me a second <coughs> I'm going to start sneezing, I really start sneezing. Um, yeah, so it's it's a case here of uh, <coughs> wait and see. Wait to see how this effect of the first week um, plays out generally around you. This is it, holding on to things. Ace, uh, four of Pentacles, yeah, I would hold on to things. I wouldn't go and start spending things. It also coming up into the third week, so we're coming up to your birthday season, and that's when the moment you're going to start after pushing your... Um, your job and your business or your your physical side of your life but the moment in the second week like on this side so it's quite funny because you have four of cups on one side and you've got the four of pentacles on the other and you've got the four of wands down there blimey it's really getting things into a square and moving on sort of saying that's that done i'm moving on to something completely different now so yeah it's wait and see in week two week three this is when we come into a birthday season All to do with timing on week th on week three. So um, just don't. It's like being. It's like going to starting a race. Uh, let's just say, I don't know, a fifteen hundred meter race. Uh, so everybody starts on the same line. Everyone sort of kind of going ready on your marks. Get set. Wait for that gun. Patience. Not your strongest point actually, Libra. Uh, but patience that week. Uh, not necessarily patience. Long term patience. Very short term patience. But it's a case of timing, of knowing uh, what, go. Um, and it's it's starting to build up within you. Everybody's had that. Everybody's had the five of swords. It's that timing and getting ready to leave or um, move out of, uh, it could be a new job actually coming in for you here, actually. That could be the application sort of side. And maybe it's just happened beforehand. There's that waiting period. And then you can walk away from a job that doesn't really hasn't really served you anything, just caused you headaches. Uh, and I think this is a case here is 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 letting go or walking away from things that just are a pain in the backside uh, in week three. Um, but also at the same time, uh, the other thing that's coming through as well is that on the general readings, don't get involved in conflicts about how to approach things within your job, your business, or your projects um, with other people, uh, you know, just for argument's sake. So take out, um, if they can't take out their ego, just walk away. If, they, if the other person can take out their ego out of the situation, then I would, you've got to do that on your side as well. If you do that on your side as well, you can change a situation from a, uh, an argumentative or conflictual situation into something that's uh, a lot better for the future. Um, very, very productive. Or you're actually confronted with something which is causing a little bit of a headache for you. And that could be that seeing what is coming down the line at the end of September. And we're, I think we're all going to see it. 
but wish big. Concentrate on what you want to create in the future. That's really important. Um, let's just see what's going on on the um, the fourth week and running into the end of September. Go, 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 go. Now is the time to shine. Uh, now is the time to, you know, put yourself... You've done all the preparation. Now it's a case of putting it all into action. And that's regarding your couple or your financial sort of side of life. Okay? So now... Yeah, there you go. And, and, and you're off for another year. You're starting that process. And it's a victory as well for you. You can skit away from that complication and those headaches uh, which you've had before, which have been holding you back, basically. Falling in love with your relationships uh, or with your relationship that you've got around you. But in order to do that, that financial side is going to have to come pull up its socks in the month of October, which would be interesting to see that, depending on what the state of the world is going to be in October, because we've got the eclipses in October. And I did readings in um, in Taurus season for the eclipse in uh, and the end and the second set of eclipses, solar eclipse and lunar eclipses, are both in uh, at the end of September and uh, October, or is it the beginning of November and the begin and the end of uh, October? But anyway, the majority of the time it's around that October period, around that Scorpio sort of period. I'll get the dates out. I will be doing a reading on that as well to combine those all two together, because that's a longer term sort of thing. So there you go, it's going to be really moving on a lot, lot quicker. Let's just get into what the karmic messages is for you from the relationship side. You can live that dream on your relationship side. Only you can stop yourself from doing that. Let your love shine, let it out, let it flow, let it, just enjoy it. Just enjoy your relationship, your couple, your um, yeah, your relationships that are around you. Enjoy that whole aspect of it all. Don't get your head caught up in it. Allow your emotions to be your guide and, and gravitate towards what makes your heart feel good. Uh, that's what that karmic message is for, that, for this month here on your relationship side. Let's see what's on the uh, money side of life. Your success will not be only yours. So when you stick to your guns and you have your success and, and you wait for that time and you get that patient in place and then you get the success is put on your side, all of a sudden it's going to be an inspiration for everybody else around you. So, um, you know, it's a case here. The karmic message here is as long as you, um, uh, when you are in a good position, everybody else can be in a good position. When you are having success and working well, everybody else can work well. And the can is the very important thing. Don't kick it down the road, that can. Place it firmly in front of you and say, this is it. I'm doing it. Are you doing it? And I think it's like leading by example in a way. Getting yourself unstuck. You may feel a little bit that... Um, that you have been stuck by people's preconditions of you, uh, Libra, within the workplace, within your business. And that preconditions is really only you that's putting it in place. You do it to yourself. So I would allow that star thing, that star sign, uh, the overall energy to flow through you, which will free you up and it will help you. But you do have to take a bit of a good, good look at yourself in the mirror sometimes. Everybody does. That's without exception. Um, but here on this, uh, on the financial sort of side, I think it's just sort of saying, not long now, you're going to be free. And I think that's what comes into it in the chariots at the end, which is amazing. This is, this is all coming to beautiful fruition for you, uh, Libra. I think this month will go quite quickly, actually. Um, a lot quicker than you think. And it's going to lead you to a door through that changes, certainly within your relationship side, but also within your financial side, the changes that are going to be happening in the world around you will lead you to that door of satisfaction and 
yeah, you know, being proud of what you've done, basically, you know, being proud of being proud of yourself. You know, uh, so there you go, Libra. There's loads of links in the description below that you can find out a lot more about the astro flower with your elements and your qualities, and actually see an example of your flower. Um, the studio is nearly ready, and we will be enlarging the uh, videos that we do and enlarging the uh, understanding of the astro flower so you can get a lot more out of these readings and we can take these readings a lot deeper. Okay. Uh, there's also a link to our sister channel, which is called Cymatic TV, which is all about energy. In the meantime, uh, Libra, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.